All right, so in this one, we're gonna do an order by for any given array that is using something like ng repeat or dir paginate. Um, and then we're also gonna add in some images. We haven't added in images yet. It's really straightforward. So let's do the images first. I just grabbed some random link to some random picture on the internet. You don't have to do it this way. I'm doing it this way because it's gonna be nice and easy for me to just pop in this link here. So after comments on that first one, I'm gonna add in a new little list here and we'll just put in image and we're gonna put that URL in. Okay. Now you could do the same sort of thing with a local one. So let's just show you how to do the local one. So I'm gonna save that image. Let me go into source and now I'm going to say images or let's rather say IMG, and that should be in the source folder. So we're gonna come back and delete that actually. So one more time, we're gonna make another folder inside of source and IMG, and then we'll just call this one.jpg. I noticed that it is a JPEG image, so that's how I'm gonna save it. And let's go ahead and delete that other folder here. So triangular, that IMG, we don't actually need that. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can actually come in here and use this same sort of image for any of these, right? So I could just come in and say image just like that one, or I could do image and use it relative to where we're at. And we called it one.jpg, so it would be slash, and this should be IMG, just like that. We should double check this though on index and it should be IMG. So that should work just fine. And we also wanna check our config and we have images, not IMG. So I'm gonna change this to IMG. Here we go. That should work. Now we should have that image should actually come through on that post. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these extra ones. Oh, one more thing. I wanna actually have in a publish date as well on all of them. So let's add in that publish date. And in this case, I'm gonna just change it for a few of them. And zero, two. Just adding in some data, okay, and there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna delete pretty much all these this last one as well. Copy these two and paste them in here several times. This is really unnecessary. The only reason I'm doing it is to have a bunch of data, just filler data so it looks a little bit better when we look at it. That's all. All right, so we save it and we go back into our project and we refresh in here. Um, we should, we might not actually get everything so I might have to come back and clear out the cache again. So clear out browsing data in the past hour, that's fine. Okay, refresh, and now we've got our dates and all that stuff looking good. Okay, so now we can actually add in those images. So let's go back into our blog list.html. We have this image source. We can just do ng-source, that's actually how you use the Angular source. And it's just post.image because that's what we called it in our JSON data, which was here, right? So we have image there. So we save that and we refresh in here. And two of our images come through, the rest of them don't seem to come through. So let's actually see why. So it's img.1, so let's open this up into a new tab. This should find it, but it's not. So let's go back into our module itself, config, so it's actually not showing that either. So let's redo our server here. Because we changed the configuration that probably might have something to do with it and it does. So we refresh in here. Now we should see all of those images. Cool, so now we have images and we also have dates. A lot of the same stuff is coming through but we do have some that are actually of different date. So now that we have that, um, this is now gonna present a little bit of a problem what we're about to do, and that is ordering. 
So when we look at the first dir pagination, so the one that actually just iterates through the items instead of the columns, then the items, we can actually come in here and do order by, so this order by filter, and we say like negative title. And let's go back in, refresh. Notice that this actually changed. If I change it back to just title, it will change back to that order. So this actually is changing the ordering. We could also do publish date and refresh and then negative publish date and then refresh there. So this is actually changing where if we try to do this exact same thing down here, well, nothing's really gonna happen because unfortunately the way we have it set up is this stuff is inside of a column. So we're iterating within a list. So this row, all of these things aren't really gonna work for us long term if we want that ordering. It already has some sort of order to it in and of itself, meaning it's going off of the order that it's being received by. So if you have it in your database where the most recent things are gonna be the last things to appear. So the most recent would be on the bottom and technically that's the one that we'd wanna start with. So right now, it's not doing that, it's starting with the new item. So you could reverse it, you could do all sorts of things there, but really we'd probably end up using something more like this if we wanted to control that order, which is something that you definitely may want to do. Um, this is cool for all sorts of things, but let's go ahead and change this order inside of the actual scope and just change it so it's at least doing the last one first and then if you wanted to ever do the ordering like we just showed you, um, you can go ahead and 100% do it this way. In fact, you can even make a drop down menu for it. So it's gonna be a actual select item that you can come through and just type out select and do ng model equals to the model you wanna call it. I'm gonna call this order, close off the select tab and we can give our options in here. So option value equaling to negative publish date, and we'll say recent option, and then we'll copy that same thing, paste it. Oops, we wanna call this value, and we'll just replace that with older. And then we can do tight like the actual um, order itself, so we just do it by title, so we'd say A to Z, and negative title Z to A. All right, so we can use this, and then come down here and just call this order by order, and we can initialize this order in our blog list component. We just come up to the very top, I'm just gonna add it in here, and say scope.order equals to negative title, save that, and go back into our project, refresh. Now we've got our negative title. Oops, we have it actually backwards. Title should be, if we want it by title, we save it as title. There we go, so that's A to Z and Z to A. So that's actually giving us a different order and we can do older. That will make more sense if we can actually see the publish date on that particular item item.publish date, we refresh, and we go to older. There's the older one, we go to recent, and there's the recent one. So that's something that you can definitely 100% do. In fact, I probably wanna have a recent showing up first, so I'm gonna set that as my order. Okay, so there we go. Really cool, nice and easy. Um, this is the what we would end up doing. This is actually what we're gonna end up doing and we're gonna do it getting rid of these columns. Again, I wanted to show you guys how to do these columns and allow it so you can do more dynamic things in the future with these sort of columns because it's really not that hard to do. Okay, so if you guys have any questions on what we did here with the images or the ordering, let us know. Um, again, the logic of why the ordering doesn't work on the columns is because we're splitting up, we're doing chunks of the columns within a column, or excuse me, an array. So we're doing arrays within arrays, and that makes the ordering process a little bit more challenging, just like it did with the filtering process. Even the filtering process was a little challenging as well. So that's why we wanna stick with something like this 
and we'll just get rid of this one in the next one. So if you guys have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you soon.